Which roughly translates, ha ha, you've had to scrape your car. Good morning, Smeggies. I'm just about to set off for work. Every morning he's been up there, or she, just singing away at the top of my house. I like it. Alright, talk to you guys later. What the heck? This is a funny looking cinema. Good afternoon, Smeggies. Um, I decided not to go to the pictures because one of the films I want to see is not on for another an hour, an hour and a half. So I decided I can't wait for that. And the other one is Oz. And I have a funny feeling that I might get asked to go see that probably this weekend. I'm just guessing that. I don't actually know. But I've got all next week to watch those anyway. So I decided to come here for a certain reason. It's now time to employ... I've just got home and I've, well while I was walking around Crystal Peaks I was very very tired again, or I started getting very tired and I'm thinking why am I tired every time I'm coming home from work and it's not the fact that I'm working really hard, it's, I know exactly what it is, it's the sweet and treat diet that I'm on. I don't think you guys can see but I've noticed in my arms and surprisingly my stomach as well is starting to shrink the fatty tissue starting to disappear basically now it take a long time for the belly to disappear and a lot of exercise like I said it's not way of losing weight <laughs> it's just oh let me sit down but it sort of starts and that's what's happening because recently I've been craving chocolate uh, last night I dreamt about chocolates and other sweets and that's what's happening my body is starting to crave these things because it needs them or it's telling me that it needs them and because I'm not giving my body any of this stuff it's taking the fat away from other places when I've done it before it is it usually starts on my arms first and then my legs and then other parts the last is always the belly and I'm surprised to see that shrinking it's not going it's just going Nye. Yeah, maybe another time, you know, maybe a few months from now I'll go, Me. I wish it did let me lose a lot, a lot of weight doing that because it'd be so much easier. Like I say, you need exercise, which at the moment, because my energy levels are like pretty low, I'm finding it difficult to do them or motivate myself into doing them. However, next week I'm on nights. Because I'm at work on nights, I get to sleep when I get home. So when I get up in the afternoon, hopefully I'm, I'm straight away, I'm wide awake, ready to do whatever. We'll see. Now, despite how tired I am, I've decided... Oh, I'm changed. To have a go at this. Now, before I start, I have knocked the weights down from what I used to do them on, which was probably about four years ago. That's how long I've not done any gym. Because when I used to go to the gym and I started trying to push up with both my arms, this would not push. No matter what, it just would not push. Since then I found out that's it's my shoulder that's the problem that's caused all my back and neck problems. And that's since been realigned and I have some strength in there again and I want to see how much strength I've got. So I'm going on here. I'm going to start with the pull down one though and then I could swap it for this one which is the push up one. And I'm not going to do much, I'm probably going to maybe do half an hour, I don't know. As for music, None of this is sponsored by the way. <laughs> um, as you can see, there are speakers and there's a stereo. The radio still works, the CD player does not, the tape deck, I think one does, I'm not exactly sure. However, that's not why it's here. Let me show you why it's there. So what I've done is, I've connected via this wire, my iPod, and this is the result when it plays. Copyright, copyright! And so I can listen to my iPod on the stereo. <laughs> It's 
just much of an exercise putting it all back. I might have only done 20-25 minutes of that, but whew. And I have to say, let me put you down somewhere so I can show you. See, what I was on about earlier was when I used to go to the gym and I tried doing this, this arm would not push no matter how hard I tried. And as I've just demonstrated there, I was able to do quite a bit of it. Although towards the end, I could feel it sort of relaxing a little, like it doesn't want to try. But I've not finished with the chiropractor yet, have I? So obviously she's going to have to give it some more. And I also... I don't know if I mentioned it, but I figured out why my shoulder went. And just so I happened to be at the gym, where you've got this machine where you have to, you've got your arms here and you pull around like so. At one point, I had my arms there and just out of the blue, without warning, my arm just went, and I'm like, what the heck? Not realizing anything from it. And later on, I was fine, no pain. And of course, over the months, it progressively started getting worse because I didn't know that I'd popped my shoulder or it had gone. As my chiropractor explained, it was the spine that took the brunt of the tension that should be there because th there was nothing there holding whatever tension you have in your shoulder, it was all going to my back. However, because there was so much pressure on my back, my seventh vertebrae or disc slipped, hitting my nerve, pinching my nerve, which ran all the way to this finger and this thumb. Of course, at that point, I knew something was wrong. And because of that, all the pressure that should have been here was no longer on my back, it was on my neck. And that's why my neck eventually tore. It, that just could not take the strain. And apparently because it, I had so much pain going through me, I couldn't feel it in my elbow. That's where the pressure had gone. I don't understand how that works, but it did. Eventually the pain all went away and the doctors assumed that everything had gone back to normal. No, the chiropractor explained to me that my body became accustomed to the pain. It was still there, I just could no longer feel it. But I know that the chiropractor is working because my back's felt better, My obviously my arm's stronger, uh, my neck. Yesterday it was hurting here, today it hasn't, it's been fine today. So all these signs are telling me that I am getting better it's a long long process and I have to admit it's frustrating it really is frustrating not being able to do those things that you could normally do just like that I can't even click right now because my hands are mucky and gloved but I'm determined to get back to what I used to be like and then I can be out running again and maybe even join a gym rather than just keep using these who knows anyway I'm hungry now Food time. What the smelly bacon, it's gone dark already. Okay, nail breakers, I think it's time for me to sign off. I think I've done enough today, actually. <sighs> All I've been doing is, well, watching YouTube. Research, I'll call it research. That's what I'm doing. That's why I watch YouTube, it's research, honest. Anyway, because I didn't go to the pictures, I'm kind of assuming I'm not going to be doing a review next week, but I do intend on doing a agony smeg because I have one story already today and hopefully I can get another two before Sunday we will see and tomorrow's Friday the weekend begins again uh, I'm going until tomorrow peace out making silly voices and accents again